Hola all, welcome to Time Mechanics. I'm your host, Donovan Neal. Step into my office. Um, today was, well technically was, being that it's after midnight, the day has technically come to a close. However, I do not consider the day to be over until I drop and the party's still rocking on my end. Uh, we even have a few operatives yet to attend considering that their time zone's a bit slack. But uh, we we have been making a, a fuck ton of progress lately, and we've been doing a lot of good. And I'm I'm really proud of you guys, man. I'm fucking awesome. We're finally we're finally getting to it. We got ourselves we got ourselves a, a dedicated operator, and and that's all it took. Things started getting rolling. I've told you guys, man, we can do this if we work together. Uh, but. I'm not sure about the initiative. I haven't checked in on this page that I'm posting this, the initiative page. Uh, and I spoke about uh, in a video regarding the, the atheist community and my assessment on them in the interview I did on the Remnants page about this, which this little symbol for the channel, Soul Mechanics, it has uh, the clock face around it, the numbers, which represents time, represents mind. We have the cog that is, you know, mechanical, represents biology, it represents the body. And then we have in the very center, which I don't think you can see, uh, blue and green yin-yang representing the spirit and the union of the body and the mind. And so that's mind, body, spirit, uh, memory, gravity, relativity, right there, uh, you know, combining them all in, into this one cool little symbol. So just wanted to explain that to you guys. Anyways, happy fucking anniversary. It's been a whole year since the last time we did this, and granted, last year was, I think, a little more banging, but then, as I said, I haven't really checked in with the uh, the initiative page yet to, to see what you guys were up to, but uh, on the Remnants page, we are moving fast, and, and a lot of big things are happening. I'd like to uh, speak of the, the fallen angels who came along with me when I went renegade to build this... Uh, of course, the foundation, uh, Robert Ramsey, alias Boob, our mechanic, our resident mechanic, uh, dealing with, with uh, emergent issues regarding technology and ha what have you. Uh, Megan Lee Ramsey, alias Sweetie Cheeks, or Super Sweetie Cheeks even. Uh, she's, she's my personal advisor and pretty much the battery of, of the foundation. She's, uh, she, get, she gives us the charge we need. And uh, they're they're in with the remnants group, but the people who actually came with me to build it, uh, Seth Rudfelt, uh, serving as the director for the psychedelics project and, and the ex psychedelic exploration project. He's our resident alchemist. He's been teaching us a lot about uh, about nature and and what it can do for you. We have Tara Washington came along. Of course, she's an operative of the Imperative, and she's been with them for a while and. I, I'm not sure how much progress they're making, but they're they're on point. We have Nick Keesman, of course, my personal uh I, I consider this dude my personal uh wall. He's he's just he's a badass motherfucker. He's always been there for me when he when you know he was available when we were together and, and we had a lot of fun together. We've done some pretty cool shit regarding the psychedelics exploration recently together, which was super fun, and I hope we can do that again soon. We have Dana Bidlake, who just joined, really, for the Remnants program. He's he's a traveler. He's a... Also, we have Frank Nieves, very old friend of the initiative from way, way... He's been my friend for my whole life. And, uh, you know, we've had some problems, but we, we always come back together. And uh, Frank and Dana are both our resident travelers. They are, you know, they're they're involved in DreamWorks and whatnot, and, and they're genuine spotters. Uh, Sandy of Brian and Sandy, another imperative operative who came along with the remnant. She's helping us. Uh, she's discussing the effects of religion upon her personal life with us, providing us uh, an example. Adela Tesla Trismegistus, an actual founding member of the page itself. He was one of the very first people to join the initiative when, uh, when uh, Nihilus Seeker and I built it. And uh, he's been with us the whole time. I don't think he's been involved, though. I think he kind of lost track of what we were doing. But he's back now, and he's kicking ass. He's teaching us a lot, helping us learn. Uh, Roxas, of course, 
my my student, my premier student at the moment. Roxas is a fucking awesome dude. He's in college right now, so he doesn't have a lot of time to work with us, but he does what he can. And he has his own YouTube channel, which I'm going to try and connect to this one. I'm going to give you a link to his YouTube channel so you guys can go ahead and check it out and uh, support him. Of course, my mom, she is uh, serving the role of my mother. And uh, that's about it for her. She's awesome. She's she's helping us a lot. She's actually running the initiative now. So, I mean, if you guys, if you're watching this, if you're part of the directive, get off your asses and help her. She's she's the one who's running the show now. She, you know, she loves my work. She went ahead and took over when I left. Now, uh, on our end with, uh, of course, Randy came along and he's, I'm going to continue to to regard him as a director in training that, you know, say that he's got, He's going to be a, a director eventually because he's got what it takes and he had the interest. I don't know what's up with him now, but Randy, I'm, I'm hoping you get back into gear with us. And we, we really, obviously we don't really need you to be there, but we want you to, you know, come on, dude, you're fucking awesome. We love you. We miss you. Uh, now, Kelly Gilbert, alias Blue, the other Blue, uh, B-L-E-U with the little weird accent mark. She is our new operator. Uh, she, well, she's uh, genderless, we say, uh, but I call her a she because she fit, she, get, Kelly fits the role perfectly. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a better operator. She's also our resident riddle master at the moment, which we might have to find another riddle master to separate that from the operator and get the roles filled. But at the moment, she is both our operator and our riddle master. She fills the role perfectly. She, fucking amazing man she's doing so much she's doing a lot of good kelly you're kicking ass like i'm so impressed by you uh thank you so much for for everything i'm so glad that we're working together and actually uh kelly and i have gone ahead and taken uh begun began to take measures to make philanthropy an actual corporate entity we're gonna do five we're gonna file for that and and have uh philanthropy made into an actual business to distribute natural remedies so uh, that's that's uh, an effective pro progression for us. Anyways, <clears throat> as you guys uh, well know, the initiative, well, most of you should know, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you now. The initiative, the status initiative was formed uh, originally. The status initiative was intended to be kind of an elite training program in regards to the garden program, which was something that we started along with philanthropy way 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 back when boob and i pretty much ran the show on this the whole time but uh you know then megan showed up and she became our third and the three of us have, have really made this happen but on 9 11 when the towers came down i saw that and the decision was made uh you know that that event was obviously it i mean it happened on 9 one one that was an emergency distress call from the world and anybody who knows, who has any insight into what actually happened that day and who was likely responsible for it, you're going to know why we are here. Uh, we, we are effectively a response to that emergency distress call. That's what the Status Initiative was built to be. And we are working our asses off to unite and network every fucking buddy we can who gives a shit. Um, most of the people in, in our sort of community, the metaphysical community, I suppose you could call it, the people who are spiritual and into mysteries and, and exploring the self and whatnot, exploring the soul. Uh, most of our people tend to have this kind of happy-go-lucky, uh, fuck it mentality. Like they're just going to sit back and, and think happy thoughts and, and give out positive vibes and everything is going to turn out okay. But that's not the case, man. Any of you who are watching this, you need to get off your lazy fucking asses and actually work here. Help us network people. Help us get things done. Help us motivate, inspire. Help us fucking rock this shit. Um, you know, anybody out there that's watching this that isn't working at, with whatever free time they can muster to, to help the initiative grow, expand, find other people, make connections, you know, get people involved with each other that can assist each other and just generally be of assistance and service to your community, then you need to get off of your lazy ass. That's the direction I'm giving you. Do, do be excellent. Excellence is a habit. You need to train it. You need to 
be excellent right now. Whatever it happens to be that you're doing, like I'm speaking to you in this video, I'm going to be excellent while I do it. I'm going to be as excellent as I possibly can right now in this sentence. And you know what? In the next sentence, I'm going to be more so. Every fucking time that I do something, anything, whatever it may be, I'm going to be fucking excellent at it. And the next time that I do it, I'm going to try to be more excellent and succeed. That's what you need to be doing. You need to take every opportunity you have to do that. You need to take every last little opportunity. And when the world imposes itself upon you, when somebody out there imposes themselves or situation imposes itself upon you and, and states that, you know, you need to be a certain something, uh, you need to you need to go there and do that to get here, or you need to you need to uh, you know uh, acquire something, or you need to use something to be who you are. Fight back, stand the fuck up, and fight back, and say no. I'm responsible. I'm gonna handle things and be fucking excellent at handling. That's that's my advice. That's my direction. That's what I ask of all of you. Uh, those of you who are kicking ass and being excellent and doing a lot of good here, thank you so much for it. I love you guys. I'm so fucking happy that you guys are even here. That we that we're making this happen. It's a, it's just a great time, and I'm I'm really proud of all of you. I'm really proud of this. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, happy happy anniversary, man. That, Let's keep rocking. Next year, next year, we're going to have a party. By this time next year, we're going to be funded. We're going to be a, a big fucking deal. And we're going to be able to put, put together some event for us to get together and, and uh, have some fun. That's, I may, can't promise it, but I'm going to promise that we're going to try to bust our asses to get there. In fact, it's, it's just, it's going to happen. And anybody who can assist us in that regard, why aren't you? Love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys very much. I love this. I'm so proud of everything we're doing. And that's that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say for this happy fucking anniversary. Uh, I look forward to every passing year that this day is going to come and we're going to celebrate harder. So, Kila Salai. Terve Unisiari. Nama fucking stay, my people. Namaste.